So I'm from a small town in Arkansas. It's called Mountain Home. Um, grew up there my whole life and wanted to go to a bigger school, you know, with a greater diversity. So that's what interested me in the University of Tulsa. I'm a sophomore majoring in chemistry and applied math. So my Turk project involves using silver chloride solutions to create extremely thermally stable silver monolayers that are one atom thick. So these silver films we're currently investigating using them in microelectronics and protecting different electronics from heat and being able to use them at higher temperatures. Currently we have a collaboration with NASA and they have some nano batteries that they're using and they're looking at applying our films to their nano batteries so that they can be used at higher temperatures. It's been great having Dr. Iski as a research advisor. She's become a great friend and role model and I look up to her especially since she's a great representation of females in a STEM field. My name is Zachary Shaw and I'm a computer science and physics major here at the University of Tulsa and I am from Claremore, Oklahoma. My research project is the ability to project one's presence virtually and for someone to be able to interact with uh, the outside world from a computer station. You can have a child who's homebound for medical or any sort of reason and still have them be able to participate and interact with the regular social school experience. The thing I'm truly passionate about in this project is like all of robotics, um, you can easily see the results of your work. So I'm very much a software person. I like to code and I like to sit down on a computer and just write a bunch of functions. But um, at the end of the day, it's really rewarding to see the robot actually move when you tell it to. Uh, my name is Brian Hall and I'm from Dallas, Texas and I'm a mechanical engineering junior. The, uh, the assistive arm is used to help children with uh, muscular problems so that if they can't move their arms as well. So it helps them kind of balance their arm, uh, keep it kind of set while they eat, write, or draw. Uh, my favorite part for uh, doing this project was probably when we came to the Little Lighthouse last semester. Uh, we, it was the first time we were able to get it um, tested in its almost completed state. So when we connected his arm to the assistive arm, uh, his, uh, his motion that came up here kind of brought the spoon to his mouth uh, when it was connected to the arm. And so he was able to feed himself for the first time by himself. So that was, that was probably the, the coolest thing we've seen so far.